I mean, does Glorilla not make ratchet music? Yes, but not yeah. like Sexy Red, though. Exactly. It's sexy not, Red is it's, different. It's, sexy it's Red is level, Sexy Red is chlamydia and STDs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's making fun, though. This is different. She's making fun, She make fun to get dirty, bro. Like, but it's uh, a different dirt, bro. Like, it's it's dirty. Glorilla is, she kind of, you know, she kind of filthy. But Sexy Red is dirty. Real Matic Podcast. Go, bro. Nigga, 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 raw ready to spit that shit, man. This camera, this camera is not camera in at the moment. What was he spitting? Nigga, you coming out right away? Oh, I nigga, I nigga, right away to my last night. He was so hot, he almost jumped out the window. Oh yeah, <laughs> but, uh, he know he lying. Bruh. Oh, <laughs> no, bro. I think I can believe that shit. I know he can't fit through that window. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, was he was that high that he thought that, bro. Like, Come on, bro. We can't do yeah, that. Yeah, he can bro. think that. <laughs> oh, bro, we can't do that. Stop. <laughs> he can think that all you want to. We can't be those people, bro. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. no right away slander here, Marlon. Huh? You, we can't slander right away. Hell no. Nah. Why not, bro? No, bro, it ain't right, bro. I mean, that's his downfall. Yeah. That's what's holding him back. Oh, that's his downfall. That's holding him back, bro. Nobody want to talk about him, bro. That's why, bro. No, no, he makes real music, and they and they don't appreciate the art. They do appreciate it, though, bro. He got the accolades, they bro. They don't appreciate it because everybody wants to say the same shit. How, bro? They don't appreciate it because every time you go on social media, they talk about, oh, it's so depressing. It's so this, it's so that. I mean, shit, if a nigga talk about real shit, depressing to you, hey, man. God, hey, maybe it's what not. What happened to this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to say nothing. What the fuck? <laughs> that nigga did flip. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga turned upside down and shit. Bro, are you okay with <laughs> that? <laughs> what the hell? Stop, bro. That look weird. <laughs> Bro, what's good, man? He said, "Yo, why are you flipping?" Yeah, yeah I'm bro. like, "What happened to this man, bro?" I was just adjusting my camera, bro. I'm here. We here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Marlon got a filter on for real. Yeah. Oh shit! Also, <laughs> oh shit! Kind of so. In a minute, okay. bro. Yeah, like sir. <laughs> I was like, "Was he yeah, glitching like, out or?" Who you? You no, well, yeah, you was for a quick I, second, but you. I, I, was fix, I was fixing the camera filter. Mm. Okay. Oh, bro. <laughs> okay, bro. What you got on the TV this time? What you got on the TV, man? I was just thank you, Ben. Bro, that is like the hater, e bro. That's the uh, that That's Joe, Joe Button. Button. Yeah. Oh, is it oh. Joe? It is Joe. Don't worry about it, because I ain't got time. So I Hit it. <laughs> he paused it, y'all. He <laughs> You press pause on this shit. I never knew that. All right. Well, what's up, nigga? What's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? How are you, man? What's up? What's up, man? You know, just barely holding on out here, man. You know? I see, I see that. I you living in cardboard boxes, man. Sure, man. living in cardboard boxes? <laughs> yeah, bro. On the side of the street, bro. Please don't don't live like that, bro. It's not my like choice. That. That's it's not your choice. choice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. You, you, you got me, man. bro. You're a grown man, so it's your choice. No, it's not, bro. Rock hell, brother. Remember to this man camera, bro. Wait, what, me, what? right? Yeah. So <laughs> in slipping. the hotel, in the hotel I'm in, the table rises, bro. I hit the plus button and the table just started levitating. Oh like, oh shoot. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You got but, ghosts in there. No, rich niggas covering, bro. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy. How you feeling though, Marlon? I mean, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, I gotta like tell y'all something because I got because I got a call about about, about a little situation. Okay. Boy, if all God's God's praise, nigga, I'm not, I'm gonna have to make the call. Say we gotta go get a passport and, and go somewhere. Mm. <laughs> Real food. What I mean? Where you going? That like the email on the contract, the, the per hour is crazy. Mm. Uh, yeah, huh? 
Where are we going? I don't know. We might go to Greece, bro. We might, we might say fuck it, bro. <laughs> Greece? Greece is the most know. random spot, bro. Greece is mad romantic, bro. I don't want to go to Greece, bro. I don't know, bro. I want to go everywhere, bro. I don't mind me. I you do, know, but bro. I don't want to go with y'all. Bro, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's romantic, bro. I, I, Greece is I, I, romantic. Boy, we just in Europe, bro. Still saying shit. Concept. Greece is mad romantic, bro. Have you seen the pictures, bro? Yeah, but I don't, I don't care about that. Oh, you don't? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It's for the bitches, nigga. Bitches. I kind of care about that. I can, tell, I can tell who care about that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead, bro. But y'all ready to get into it? Yeah, man. Let's get into it, bro. We got another episode. Let's get it. Tell yes. Us. Welcome back. This is episode 120 of the Real Matic Podcast. Yes, sir. And if you don't know, my name is Ben. I'm with my brothers, Rasan and Marlon. Hey! Hey! Let's get into some ratchet shit, man. So we got a student versus a teacher. Again? We got a teacher Again? versus a student. Yeah, man. You know, here on the Real Matic Podcast, we always got to see the teachers fight. We got to see it, you know? So let's get into this first one. Let's man. go. I mean, is it okay for the teacher what they, what they that, have? That, that. We don't ask those questions here on the Real Matter Podcast. We just look and observe and talk <laughs> about the bullshit. Get up on my face when it gets. Oh, 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 What y'all Yo. think about that, man? So the little boy started hitting on the teacher. You know, she fought teacher, back. Bro. The teacher will whoop your ass, bro. Stop fighting his teacher, bro. The teacher, teacher was older, bro. If she had a belt, bro, she would have beat the brakes off that kid. She would have beat the oh. brakes off and would have smacked that boy in the classroom. Like, what if he had a belt? Bro. She was old. She, she is old. So she had <laughs> old, bro. You seen the haircut? The haircut told me everything I need to know. I don't know, man. It was evenly matched to me, man. I ain't going to cut to you. Relax, relax. Yeah, bro. <laughs> she, had, she had him on the ground. Relax. It was not evenly matched. Yeah, all right. Look, bro, that's disrespectful, bro. These kids these days don't, like, understand the respect, like, elders. That's an older woman, bro. Like. Can't do that. To even want to push an old lady, you be like, yo, come on now. Yeah. And just the way he looked at The like, kids are just desensitized, yeah. bro. It's everything. He was just like, oh, I'm gonna push her. Oh, right, she ain't gonna do nothing. And then he started getting beat for a good second. Like, oh, fell down. Nah, bro, we can't be doing that. You I don't want this beating up on old teachers, bro. Any old people in general, but come on now. Oh, so if she was younger, it'd be okay? Bro, really? No. I ain't said that. Yo, Ben be spinning questions like <laughs> a goddamn CNN. He be trying to make you look so bad. Like, like, bro, why would I do that? Like, hey, like, hey, hey, I just want you to be clear, man. I just want you to be clear. Stop doing that, bro. He said, Stop doing that. I don't want you, bro. Like, I'm hurting Yo, y'all, man, bro. Trying to catch you, bro. We're like, you hell, hurt, bro. You hurt that man's character, bro. Don't do that. I ain't do nothing, bro. Ain't no character. I, but no, for real, bro. That shit ain't right. Don't be beating up on teachers. No, yeah. bro. This is probably, this is probably. Uh, clip number five on the main pod. Oh, t- teachers yeah. losing to students, low key. Facts. Now, uh, let's see if the roles reverse. Let's see what's sorry. Okay, no, no, sorry. It means no. I'm okay. No, she ain't gonna be sorry. No, she's no, so do it. You gonna be sorry? Ready? Oh, 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 She smacked her with the lanyard, bro. My sources say that it's unconfirmed if that was a teacher or not. It's unconfirmed, but we're gonna assume that that was a teacher, and let's <laughs> just go based off that. Um, you sure that was wild. That? that was yo. Wild. To get smacked in the face with the lanyard is crazy, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, with all your might, it was. <laughs> yeah, your eyes, bro. and you could tell she aimed for the eyes too. 
like Musta shit. Like, god damn. <laughs> that shit crazy. <laughs> bro, these school fights be getting out of hand, bro. It's getting crazy. Like, bro. Where's the security at? They ain't never no security. Never. I'm gonna ask the question that Ben always asks. Why the videos always in such poor quality, bro? I understand bro. that shit, bro. Like, you just don't make like every little thing. Why can't I get a 4K fight video, bro? Because it be off the camera that they shooting on. Like, phone it's camera, off 4K, an Android bro. phone, always. Yeah. I, I don't understand. Even, even if it's an Android, bro. I just don't understand why every time we see a fight video, that shit go down in resolution. Like, man, we don't want y'all to see this fully. But. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell like, not, bro. Fuck, man. Why did you just shoot us with your fingers? Why did you do that? Shut up. Stop. <laughs> I'm just like, no, I, I feel threatened right there, bro. Stop. You feel threatened. threatened by me? Yeah, I'm like, why did you just shoot me, right? Like, relax. Why man. did you have to do that to me, bro? Because he did. That's raw, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's the God, bro. Relax. Hell no. Thank you, Mark. Thank Hell no. All right. Thank but uh, yeah, man, like, I think it's getting crazy out here. You know, these mm -hmm. kids, they don't know how to stop. Um. And I think it just goes back to a lack of respect for black people in general. You know, mm. um, when you look at another black person and you already judge them based on the level of conditioning that we have in this country, it makes it easier for you to put your hands on them. It makes it yeah. easier for you to punch them up and strangle them and push them and, you know, spit on them and kick them because you don't you don't value them. You don't value their life. You don't see any respect. Um, so. Yeah, it's just another product of that. And I think that it's only going to get worse from here. Bruh. You, you, so you think yeah. it's a race thing? I blame the oh, parents, sure. though. Yeah, it's, it's a race thing. thing. It's a parental thing, because you were teaching your That's kids black yeah. things. You, you don't think so? Things. Like, yeah, you can say race plays a role in it, but mm -hmm. I really think that it's down to, these, to younger parents not teaching their young kids but it's not even a younger parent thing it's just a parent thing in general if the parents were teaching their children the right shit they would never go to school, go to school acting like that what do you mean by that you think it's down to younger parents i think that is younger parents raising young kids and not instilling good habits in the young kids not so really. you're or just okay that. if you say if you say it's parents in general mm -hmm. or young parents these these are young kids who I feel like have young parents to some extent who don't value certain things. Like, okay, you grow up, when you grow up, you're like, I'm not going to act like my parents in this way. I'm not going to, I don't care about that. They should already know how to deal with that, but you're not actually teaching them mm -hmm. now. And you had kids at a young age. Now you have kids who are in school and you're still learning and you're teaching them whatever you can, but you don't, you don't think like how your parents did. Okay. I'm glad you said that. So how much of an effect do you think that your parents have on you when you were growing oh, up? You think they had like a, a larger effect than your peers, you think? Yes. Yeah, no, definitely. You spend the most time with them. No, no, I didn't. no, I didn't know. Like you spend more time with your peers. You, you than spend you, do. you spend more time with your peers than you do with your, your parents, like mm. at a certain That's point. So you. like it's up to the parents to teach you good habits that you continue to have even while you're out in the world you know so mm. when you're out here and you're beating up on teachers and things you ain't got no consequences for real at the crib see what i'm kind of getting towards is i think that it's not really his parents fault i think his parents probably told him the right thing i think he's just being influenced by the people around him i think that's what it is because we see it all the time you know we had people in our class and perfect example you know a guy would have a two-parent household nice house upstairs downstairs but he's still trying to act hood he's still trying to you know portray that lifestyle it's not because he didn't have the right parents he had the right parents it's just the people around him was influencing him to be that way i think that pressure that influence is greater than what your parents can provide like your parents can only do so much they really can they can only do so much, bro. They can, bro. But I'm just like, there's just certain things. Look, bro, mm -hmm. you got you to go to school with a little fear in your heart of your parents, bro. <laughs> I ain't playing that, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yo. Yeah, but come on, though. You it's feel me? Like, like, no and more, then we're bro. going home it's and having to deal that, with bro. them. But we see it all the time. You go to college with these girls. They yeah. have great 
parents, strict parents, but when they go to college, college they become hoes. It's not college, different. It's the same college, thing. It's, it's the same bro. thing. It's not different. It's the same thing. It's a lot, it's a lot different. That's not the same. I just That's gave college. you an example, though. I just gave you an college example of a boy that... College level freedom, bro. I, I can't go with that. But one. I just gave you an example. Even in school, middle school, high school, whatever you want to pick, a boy has a nice house. You know, parents was there, all that shit. He's still trying to act hood. Why is that? Why is that? The persona you want to paint, but why though? Character development. Hey there, <laughs> character <laughs> development. <laughs> character development. Why though? Bro. Like for instance, your mother may buy you some clothes. Yep. That don't mean that's what you're supposed to be wearing. That doesn't mean that's what the people at school like. So are you gonna keep wearing that shit? No. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so my mama bought me them clothes, nigga. No, if your mama buy you some damn filas and filas is not cool, you're gonna have a problem with that. Can yeah. we stop the cap? Like, yeah. what do we do? Nah, I was <laughs> different. Because, I'm, I'm, I'm because nobody in school, filas, bro. nobody in school is wearing filas. Yeah. I was different. Bro, I was different. I was filas. Bro, I was not. I was different. Bro, I was like fuck the niggas in school. Bro. You're capping, bro. You're capping right oh, now. Also, you're also, capping right now. Also, all right. Also. Maybe it was some and ones. No. <laughs> no. No. Your mom got you some and ones. Listen, what I'm saying whole- is. What I'm saying is, it doesn't matter about the shoe, bro. I'm just saying, you're not going to want to wear something different from everybody at school. You're going to want to fit in. That's just natural. I don't want to fit in, bro. And as that little boy is Mark, in school. I know damn well, bro. Yeah, he kept him, bro. I did, bro. I, mean, I, I, I will, like, listen, I will call five. Like, I'm not saying that I also, care bro, so I much like, about fashion. But I will say, to an extent, I knew, bro, I'm not walking into school rocking some goddamn shacks. Exactly. I, like, didn't, I didn't, but I was so I was solely such a me type of person. I ain't care about none of that. I really didn't. I used to wear, I used to wear fake sneakers in high school. I ain't care. Okay, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Yeah, okay, bro. Here, bro. But why did you, I hear you bro? I hear you. But why did you wear the fake sneakers in high school? Because I thought it would fly. The, uh, hey, look, discount mall 2015. Okay, was the hoes fucking with that? Huh? Was the hoes fucking with that? That you was yeah, wearing those right. fake sneakers? Yeah, but they didn't know. Yeah, they know they they didn't oh, know they were fake. Oh, hoes didn't know they was fake. Oh, listen, real nigga shit. Hoes can't tell whether some shit real or fake. Yes, they you know, can, bro. Now they can. But back in the day, they, they could did not. back then, bro. They, not, I, they, they knew that jump man was turned to the other way. They knew that jump man was turned to the other way, bro. Like, here's, they here's knew thing. that. Obviously, if you talk about some shit like that, yeah. But I, this, this is not no obvious shit like that. They cannot. They tell knew them Air Force thing. ones didn't have no sush on them, bro. They knew it, bro. I I wear the fake Air Force ones. <laughs> they know, bro. They can see fake shoes, bro. You acting like they dumb, bro. <laughs> you really are right now. You acting like they dumb right now, bro. Why are you that's looking crazy, bro? That's, <laughs> that's crazy. That's wild. I didn't say that, though, bro. That's wild, bro. But, I didn't say that, though, bro. But just getting back to the point, though, I just feel like, yo, these kids are influenced by the people around them. They are. It's they not are. really about the parents, man. The parents. I'm telling you, bro, is you don't got no training, home training that teaches you what to do when you get out in the world to fight. Ah, it's not about that. It's not, man. You think these you think these parents are trash out here? These parents, they know the basic, everybody knows the basic responsibilities of how to do raise they? a child. Everybody do knows they? that. Yes, do they? they do. Oh, they do. No, most, no. People, most people no. know the basic way to raise everybody. a child, bro. Throw in a photo no. of Kershawn Rock. <laughs> Just like not, they don't know the basics. She's not extreme. Everyone. She's extreme. <laughs> yeah, most people, most people I'm from know. Most parents. Is she? She's an extreme example. Most people everybody, know the basic. She's not even. Everybody bro, she's the fucking basic. what? 23, 24? Bro, everybody yeah. know the basic shit, bro. Okay. Yes, they do, bro. They do not, bro. How many parents do you know personally where you're like, damn, how the fuck? What's wrong with their kid? Like, what's going on? Do you know that? Like, Be for like real. It's like three or four right now. Come on, bro. Just ben, some numbers up, Ben, bro. In, okay. Ben, in high school. For real, bro. Mm-hmm. Let's say in high school. You knew some people who were really wild in high school, right? Yeah. That's when you it. saw their parents, could you tell them, I get it? No. 
Stop. Mama didn't play that shit. No. Bro, you knew, bro, you could tell from who they Some of them parents be enabling, bro. Some of them parents be a, be, be a part of the problem. Yeah, no, Ben, you saw them kids and you saw their parents and were like, No, oh, bro, they mama didn't play that shit, bro. Some of them, some and them, them would care. beat them in front of you. Some of them moms did not care, bro. But their beatings didn't mean shit. Exactly, that's my point. That beating was just for show, bro. They ain't, they ain't really they ain't playing care. down on them. They ain't care. I don't know, man. Niggas know how to raise their kids, bro. I don't think that's the problem. I yeah. think they just don't know how to emotionally raise them. Mm. That's the difference. You don't know how to emotionally mature your child. So they right. go out into the world and they become influenced by everybody else because they don't have emotional stability. Mm. That's, so that's, that's kind of my point of view. All right, let's mm. move on, man. So a stripper gets mad at Lotto for taking her money back. <laughs> wait, wait. So yeah, Lotto was at um Magic at Magic City in Atlanta. Right. And she, yeah, she pretty much Magic turned it into Lotto City. Yeah. And uh I guess she lost her wallet, so she took all the money back. I would too. Shit, where my fucking wallet at? I didn't really watch the video. You come celebrate your song release. You throw money on these girls who gotta pay their bills, take care of their families, and do all of this that is nothing to you. You get what I'm saying? What this girl is down here shaking her tail feather for, you wipe your wit. You get what I'm saying? But you really picked up. I lost all respect for this person because you chose to host a party here. You chose to do this. And a lot of girls pay house fees. They bought outfits. They really put money here, nails, lashes, everything. And then because you can't find your little wallet, not a purse with a bunch of bread in it, but a little card wallet, you picked up every dollar on the floor that you threw and took it with you. I don't care about a stripper sob story. Mm. Uh, look, Magic City is high ranking. I, you in the you in the upper elite. Yeah, you gonna make money tomorrow. That's Not as maybe yeah. as much as you made today with the lotto party. Yeah. And I know you still got paid that night and you still made some money. You just mad because the money ain't come from lotto. You just trying to get a little clout off this, huh? That's, <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. You ain't gonna get mad at me because I picked my money up. Mm. Get the shake. Get the shake. If you, yes. If you, if you were the same thing because you lost your wallet. Whether it's my purse or my car wallet, bro, get my money back, bro. I might be broke tomorrow. Like, hey, you don't know what the hell was in that damn wallet, bro. You don't like, no, fuck hey, that. What do you think this is? Like, mm. are we mad at me? Find my wallet, bitch. Sorry. Bro, bro, Damn. Bro. <laughs> like, said, go follow my wallet, bitch. Since you can't, since you mad, so mad about it. Make your tail feathers. Go do that. <laughs> go make yourself some more money. I, I'm Lotto. I need my money. Sorry, I, I lost my my wallet. You just mm. get them broke. It's like why you why you so broke? That's some mm. that's, that's some broke shit to announce on the internet. You mad because the girl took our money back? Then you must need it, Dad. You must mm. need it, Dad. You like oh the other girls they gotta pay house fees. No, you and gotta, gotta, pay, gotta pay bills, bro. I don't care what you talking. You decided to go buy that outfit. Yeah, like that's the thing. <laughs> I don't okay. A stripper still gets paid though, right? Am I wrong? Or is it a hundred percent? Not sure. It's, like know. that's the thing. No. But regardless, it's like it's like, like in a, Magic City. To clarify, it's like a waitress type of thing. You might get your little minimal, but you know you making more off the tips. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, Lotto taking her money back was probably a hit to a lot of people who weren't making no damn money that night because it's like shit. She's a big artist and she's throwing stacks. But at a point, if you wasn't on your game already before she walked in that bitch getting your, your little bread together, you crying about, about a lot of bread means what, though? Like, like what? It don't mean nothing to me. You imagine that's, that, that's the equivalent of saying, dang, Gucci ain't noticed me in the club tonight and I ain't getting no money. I had to I had to go dance on Ben. <laughs> like, he only gave me this He only gave me $50. Like, you hating because I got the one good dance? Fuck you. Get out of here. You hating because I gave you money when Gucci didn't? Bitch, fuck you. Look, like, man, what? I'm going to have to put my cape on, bro, because I'm saving these hoes. 
What kind of shit is it? No. I got to say these old man. Look, no. bro, that's not cool, bro, man. You would do the same thing. So that's, that's how they make, make a living, bro. No, no, no. That's how they no, make no. a living. Do not stand, do not it's stand taboo. You, don't you, get me wrong. Still, no, right, 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 right. You don't throw that money you if you're going to take it back. No, you specifically. No, bro, stop. Don't be throwing that money if you're going to take it back, bro. That's some broke shit. What are we talking about? You know, Ben would pick his money or he couldn't find his wallet, That's some broke shit. You gonna throw some money on the floor and take it back? If you lost your wallet, you will be picking your cash up. Stop lying, bro. I don't care. I don't care what you're saying. Not say, about bro. me. This is not about me. <laughs> and I got my cable right now. I got my like yeah. cable. Look, yo, <laughs> she threw all that money. Give that money away. No. You know their struggle. You know what I they lost go my wallet. Through. They got I bills to pay. Let them pay their bills. You're gonna make it wallet. back. You're an artist. No. You're gonna make that money I back. Care. I don't care. You don't know what's in that wallet. If you lost your card, decline it. Turn it off. <laughs> I might not know, bro. Stop, what the bro. fuck are we talking about? Turn it off. No, yeah, no, right. Yeah, no, yeah. Bro. You know I'm making sense right now. <laughs> no, bro. You know I'm making bro. sense right now. I got, I got, no, my, no. I got my baby. I, I got my baby pictures about. in that wallet, bro. No, bro. I got my, my pictures in that wallet, bro. Fuck these out. hoes, man. No, bro. It don't make sense to do all that. Make a lot of sense, actually. It doesn't. That's I know. My thing is, this I know is she jackpot. Ain't That's you said what? I know she. I know she didn't pick up every dollar. She probably picked up. She did it. I know she did it. I'm sure, she like, picked up most of it. She ain't getting all that money back. She ain't getting all that shit. Like, stop she it. I, I, I just can't stand for the sob story. Go, go shake your ass tomorrow. You good? I'm saying, go back to work, man. Come on, though, man. No, bro. They could be living check to check. Okay, that's their fault. Technically. Yeah, but you ain't shaking hard enough. You ain't shaking hard enough. That's crazy, man. You better slang. Bro, you better slang them wings. If I was a stripper, bro. Okay. Okay. And that money was on the ground. Yeah. Yes. That's my money. And I lost my wallet. We fighting. Don't pick up my money. I'm coming to collect my money back. Don't pick up my money. I'm getting my money. What Drake said then? What Drake said? You say something to you. I'm really, I'm gonna really go crazy if you try to take, take, get that money. I'm like, bitch, you gotta put that money on the ground. That's my shit. My money. That's my money, nigga. It's not. Yeah, get a bag. How you gonna know? How you gonna know? Because I'm the only nigga in this one session throwing throwing 100 bands, bro. That's it was my, multiple niggas bad. there. It was multiple niggas there. No, nigga. How would me. you know that's your money? Me. It's no longer your money. Bro, it's, this it's is stripper money, culture, bro. That's stripper sure. culture. I'm, when I'm the money is money, on the floor, I'm it's no longer yours. I'm picking a cash up. Okay, we hear you. But let me tell you about the stripper culture. When the money is care about that, bro. We hear you. So they hear you, bro. They hear you. You're right, going to pick it up. Let them cook. Let them cook. We get it. Yeah, You're going to pick it up. Like, like, we get it. You're going to pick it up, bro. We hear you. But stripper no, culture is when that money hits the floor, it's no longer yours anymore. It's true. So picking the shit up is disrespectful to them. It, it is. Bro, That's how they bro, make bro. a living. If I lost my wallet, no cap. I don't know. I care. I'm picking that shit back up. We understand that. But I'm telling you. It's so, like car. No, you're telling me about no, culture. No. I'm not. I, listen. I don't care what you're talking about, culture. Lotto said, bro, I'll get my money Marlon, back. Marlon, can you not turn the card off? It doesn't matter. Huh? Turn, you? He ain't turn trying to pod, y'all. He ain't trying to pod. I, I am potty. He ain't trying to pod. You trying to take your, so your bad. Your argument take is not making off. sense. Take the your cape argument off. is not making take sense. Take the cape off. Your take argument off. is not making sense. You don't need sense. the cape, bro. Why are you caping for can holes, bro? Can you turn the card off? Why are you caping for holes, bro? Yes or no. Why are you caping for holes, bro? Can you turn the card off? Yes or no, bro? Why you keeping for hold, bro? I've already told you. If you listen to what I'm saying, I'm telling you. I don't want to hear that. Can you turn the card off? Yes or no? Probably not. All right, bro. You're not ready to pod then. <laughs> Rock. 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 Can you turn the card off? Yes or no, bro? Yes, you can turn the card off. Rock, you okay. him Do you understand where this woman is crazy. coming from? Do you understand? I understand. My, like I said, I understand, but mm. also at the same time, get back out there and shake your ass and make that money. <laughs> Like that's where my mind said yeah. that future will be there tomorrow. Drake out here walking around a tub of fucking money, just throwing shit. You better Scooby like you've been seeing this. It was like yo, I would Scooby Doo cut the bottom of the shit out, dog. There are other people gonna come. Fair, but what if you average, let's say two thousand dollars a night? Yep. But on this particular night, you could have mm -hmm. got fifteen thousand. I would be it, it's a little different. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's a Too little bad. different that's now because it's like that's, that's a lot of money. Too bad. That's a lot of I lost, fucking money. I lost my shit. Too bad. Damn. Ah. Too bad.
too bad. I understand where they're coming from. That's all I can say. The, the L's came, L came to a stripper today. <laughs> Work hard. Yeah. Work hard. <laughs> Work harder. Damn. 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 What, what, what Kim back, K said? That work hard. Get back on the pole. Back, <laughs> Damn. I ain't saying all that, but work hard. That's Marlon, you're saying thing. that, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying the same. The I pole. ain't saying what's up with work. I just said work harder. Okay. Go ahead. Bro. Scrub the floors. Do what you got to do. Scrub the floors. <laughs> scrub the flow. Yes, yeah, scrub Damn, the flow. Bro. What you got to do? This shit crazy. All right, mm-hmm. moving on. So we got Kanye West. He gets back in the news. He's been doing yeah. some wild shit, saying some wild things. Uh, they had like an old documentary yeah. that came out, but um, something that he said that was very interesting was he called Cardi B an industry plant. So let's watch this video. You gotta say it. I know it. That's why. That's why. That's why. Fucking Cardi B was over there. Cardi B is a plant by the Illuminati. She don't write her raps. She's just there to like sound as ignorant as possible, and just and then make songs like fuck him and they get some money. You know, she's literally replaced, you know, Nicki Minaj purposely. That they put her there. And now she doesn't know what to do. And she's just a fucking, she has no idea what the fuck is going on. She thinks it's just a blessing from the universe. It ain't no blessing. What y'all think about that, man? Is Cardi B an industry plant? By technicality, if you want to be on certain rap standards and being the fact that it's documented that she doesn't tell the people right all of her things. And I think Kanye might be referencing early Cardi B career type shit based off of his responses. I can see how you would think that Cardi B is the industry plan. Just, but then again, I mean, not necessarily because I kind of, I'm one of the few people who remember her being on Instagram, remember her being on Love and Hip Hop. So it's like, you've been around, you wasn't an industry plan, but at the same time, it has been a couple of years since you dropped the album. And yeah, just because you drop a fire Feature on a single here and there that doesn't prove that your music is quality. So, so I you're mean, saying she's not. Okay. I'm not gonna hold you. She is. Mm. Yeah. I'm you don't. Sure. You don't. You could be in in the media already, right? Yeah, she was on Love and Hip Hop. She just already had some established fame. They were like, okay, cool. She was in the industry by that point. She was in. No, no, she was in the industry a little bit. But not as not as deep in it for real. Bodak Yellow said, "We got something here, boys. Mm. Let's make her grow. This the plan. Let's really do it. This the plan. You, yeah, no, like facts, bro. You were able to get this woman to drop Bodak, make the world go, go flip the whole rap game upside down when she dropped that. Everybody loved that. She was bumping it, bumping it." They saw a new female artist that they could push. You got her to drop an album. The album beat Astro World. That was the only industry industry plant moment I could give her because I because she should not beat Astro World. Gotta disagree with that. That's um, it beat Astro World. I'm not gonna say that Astro World is like okay. It was an upset. Because we felt that uh, Astro World was big as it was because of the invasion of privacy was better than Astro World. Yeah, no way. She no way. she had better songs on there. Astro World after Sick of <laughs> whoa, 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 we're not saying all that, bro. We're not saying. I, that. In my opinion, no, 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 that's, 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 that's what it sounds like. You invasion of privacy was better than Astro World to you. There are songs after that's Sick of Mode on Astro World. This is my hot take. That's insane coming from you. After sicko mode, on Astroworld, he changed, bro. That's it crazy. slowly starts to degrade in sound, and then you kind of get a go back up. I'm not gonna hold. Mm-hmm. It I'm asking really you, did cool. did you think that Invasion of Privacy no, sounded better than Astro? I don't think that Astroworld. Invasion of Privacy was better than Astro World. Okay, but okay. if you're looking at Grammy standards of it, I understand why. Okay, I understand why. That's the only thing I will say. Like. RP RP screw and those songs really slowed that project down for me. Not gonna lie. Not a big fan. Sorry. It's, it's a low point in the project. But back to what? Cardi. Back to Cardi. They said, okay, we got she got a Grammy. What can we do now? We don't gotta drop no songs. We can just keep dropping singles and pumping and making people just love her. That's it. That's it. You she does what she needs to do. She keeps you distracted. We drop WAP. We go bring Megan on. Eh, 
I I can't say she's not a plant. Hmm. Nikki well, Nikki, I can ne- I can never say Nikki was a plant. Right. Because she was out here dropping albums, making like moves and music. Cardi is really just a placeholder for things. So I or guess just a better the- question would just be what is an industry plant? Like what is that to y'all? Or easy. I, I I'm I'm the best person for this. An industry plant is somebody that you can't never find their early roots in music. I feel like a lot of artists over the years, like who just kind of pop up, I think people will consider you under the industry industry plant platform because it's like, where are your roots? Where you came from? What who, who what was your first songs? Like a lot like Jack Harlow. You might say I, I seen Doja Cats, maybe like the little Techas, like people who you can't really find their early roots in music. So at a point, if they're making a certain level of sustainable success, you're going to question of whether or not they're industry plan. Hmm. Honestly. And then you see them. Sometimes you, you can tell they, they look like them. Like, it ain't like, it's kind of crazy. Like, or fucking, what's that, what's that, what's that dude's name? Uh, Kid, Kid, Kid Leroy? Or whatever. He, he's an industry plan. I don't care what anybody say. I stand on that. His, I like his music to a certain extent, but he's, he's a plan. Because there's so no way you got all these I would say goes against that would just be like a one-hit wonder. Because you don't have any means to track them, but they just made a, a hit that was so big, like a designer. You know, would you say that designer was an industry plant? No. I don't think so. But I mean, based on your definition, he would apply. Or, mm, you know not what I mean? Really. I feel yeah, like you can't trace his music. You can't, tra- you can't trace his music, but I also feel like industry plant comes with a certain level of success too. I feel like you got to like, I don't know. I feel like you, you can just tell almost. I ain't trying to be that biased person, but you can almost look at an artist, look at their sound, look at their style, even look how they look. And at a point, something about it just seems very industry plant. Or you'll see the pool they put this artist with, who they team up with, who they collaborate with. And at a point, you question like, wow, why does he have a Jay-Z, Jay-Z feature? Why the fuck is she on a song with Beyonce? Why the fuck is she doing a song with Cardi B? And we, I don't know this bitch from uh, Can of Salt. And it's, it's like... Tizo, it's Tizo touched on the industry plant. No, I would say no, but at a point it, it can look very industry plant ish. Why is it debatable though? Why is that debatable? Because I mean, wh- where did he come from, really? Though, he's gonna come from where did he come Because I see the video, and, of, I, and come also, on I seen now, but you can't watch that. Video, you know, of mine. I seen it, but you can't do that though. Movie. You can't base it off of okay, can we track their music? Somebody's it's going to eventually. That, Somebody's gonna start making music, but then look at any time, at any time, and, at any at time, and he, they're gonna start taking off. Out but the first time that you really see Tito song. is like Tyler or Travis. He had Scott. a slow build up though. Was it? Yes, yeah, yeah, he, he came out. He came out like two years ago, and he was on there. He was on there two years ago. He was on there. We just now talking about him. He came out. Bro, he's he's on tour with Travis Scott now, bro. Yeah, but he started. Like two years ago, and he remember that shit he came out with. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That song he came out with. Yeah, he's not an industry plant. Uh, All right, all right. right. When I think of an industry plant, I think about how someone became popular. Can you give me an example of your version of an industry plant? Um, Bobby, Bobby, I'll talk. I'm talking about artists, nigga. But a music artist. um, Everybody knows she's a plant. Oh, sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Sweetie, okay. yeah. she's she not good. She she's single. not talented. She had a hot but... single. She had a hot what single. Single was that? Was it icy? And best friend. And best friend icy. But she was popping before that though. Mm, uh, not really. Probably, she, had, probably, she, had, she was bad. Like, I, I I can agree with that one. Ben. But would y'all agree that she's not talented? Would y'all agree with that? Just on a baseline, do y'all think that she's talented? To make a to make a hit, if I make more than more than one hit. I'm gonna give you a certain level, a level of credibility. I'm not gonna say you're not talented, but you're not a musician. You're not like an artist. But I'm gonna give you a certain level of credibility that you wouldn't ever in the booth and did that. Is she more talented than Flo Millie? Fuck no. <laughs> but she has more popularity than Flo Millie. Cause he's cause she's light skin. She? So she's an industry plant. No, cause no, 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 wrong te- definition. That's called colorism. Nah, it's not because of that. Yeah, I be feeling that one, but not in this case, though. Not in this case. She's in a legit industry plant, bro. She's a legit industry plant, though. 
How do y'all not see Sweetie as an industry plant? I see. Because I, I saw her first. I saw her first. Nobody's I buying her albums. Somebody, bro, she has fans, bro. I don't know whether you believe it or not. She, she has don't. Fans. She do. She has two million followers on Instagram, but nobody's purchasing her albums. My girl is definitely because she's an me. industry no. plant. No. Yeah. How did she get it? How did she get a McDonald's endorsement deal? How? Because. Because she mixed tea, she eats. He can't even. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Let, 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 let me defend it. Let me defend it. Because, <laughs> in, a, because in the Saudi brand and her brand alone, she has referenced how much she liked McDonald's and she be remixing her own McDonald's meal. She was technically the first nigga I was aware of to have her their own McDonald's meal. But I no, thought you no, don't say that. About, man. Stop it. Come what on, bro. Jackson, me. Oh, I thought she came. Jack ain't you to McDonald's. I thought she came. No, huh? Travis. No, it's Travi, bro. Yeah, I thought she came before Travi. My bad. No, I thought she. I thought she came. It was first. Travis. It was Travis. Then it was Sweetie. Then it was Offset and Cardi. I don't give I a swear fuck she if she liked them McNuggets, bro. I don't care. Nobody That's... cares about her like that. She doesn't no. hold weight in the culture. Yeah, somebody. Somebody care about her enough that she no. keeps seeing her. The no, industry. Don't. It's the it's industry, bro. Listen, I agree. She might be a plant, but at the same time, you didn't sound like you agreed a second. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because, a because, I remember, because I remember seeing her start. Loki at a point. It's kind of like, mm. when did you see her start? What did I she start her, with? Her first single. I saw her first single. All right, so, bro, that's all I'm saying is the definition you gave before. It was based on can you track their history. I'm telling you that if you're a listener. The moment that you start listening to an artist, that's the first time you hear them. You can't track them. That's just the first time that you heard them. So we can't say that, oh, this is an industry plant because I don't know what they did before that. That's ignorant. It's a lot of artists that you're not going to know when they started. That doesn't mean that they're an industry plant. Also, the other thing I said was a certain level of, of success. If you only came out a motherfucking month ago and I see you on a feature with Travis Scott and Drake, at a point, I'm a question of whether or not, like, how the fuck and when the fuck and how and one, one more time how the fuck the fuck shit that actually I, look I think some artists are very talented like Tizo touchdown that's why he has those connections i don't think it's because he's an uh, industry plant because he has a feature i just don't i mean when we look at his numbers he's not getting no album sales like that people still don't know about him it's not because he's he not a damn industry plant he don't have a big single now coming back to cardi b I'm going to say, no, she's not an industry plant only because we know how she started off. We see that she was a rapper. You know, she was on the, the reality TV show. So she already had a little buzz. And by the time she came out with music, she already had a following. That's why she started to take off. Bodeg Yellow was just icing on the cake. She was going to reach a point eventually. Bro. She was, bro. She was going to reach a point eventually. You know what I mean? I don't think that. Now, I understand what Kanye is saying as far as she's just really not speaking on anything in her music. She's just here to, you know, shed light on ratchetness or whatever. I understand I mean, that. But, but, why, but why does every female artist have to do that? Like, why is it a female artist's responsibility to have to touch on everything in music? Though? Well, not necessarily touch on everything, but just have a balanced perspective on life. I think mm -hmm. that's kind of what I, I ask like, for in music. Like everybody, everybody don't think cognitive, cognitive yeah cognitively enough to even make those acceptable decisions for themselves. So I feel like you gotta remember there's people out here who just be kind of like living life and they don't be thinking about the community. They don't be thinking about the city. They don't be thinking about shit like that. So I can't really like expect that out of a person when mm -hmm. you didn't show up before. You was the ratchet stripper off of Instagram. Why am I gonna think they want to talk about social justice? Now when you do, it looks weird mm -hmm. because like, that's not you. That's, oh, what, that's, that's what you want to say? You want to say that? Yeah. That, that goes against what we said a long time ago, bro. Mm. What we said a long time ago. <laughs> Rod know what I'm talking about. Hey, Rod uh, know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, I told her to shut up and rap because she yeah. wanted to talk about politics. Yeah, that's, that's I, good. Listen, I, said, I said, I'm okay with you talking about politics, but bitch, we knew that's not you. We know that's not you. you know I know that's before, not you. Listen, I said, there, there's, I no, can, there's no problem with that. What's wrong with that? Because you can't just tell somebody shut up, shut up and rap, bro. Is it, you can't say that. <laughs> you can't tell somebody shut up and rap, bro. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Yo, nah, man, Marley, you know. 
You can't say that, bro. What, bro? He crazy, yo. I'm just gonna shut my mouth. Yeah, that. But speaking of industry plant, did sexy red replace Glorilla? Let's talk about it, y'all. No. 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 I'm no. not gonna say that. No. I'm not, because there's a place for both of them. Both levels of ratchet can coexist, please. Oh, no, Ra. Both <laughs> levels of ratchet can coexist. Ain't nobody worried about Glorilla no more, Ra. Ain't worried, oh, Glorilla had, like, Pause, pause, pause. Glorilla had the same run that Sexy Red did. The only difference is, you might want to say, Glorilla stylistically is not as sexy as Sexy Red. I'm like, not saying that. No, no, let me finish. Let me finish. But at a point, I feel like Glorilla had like four, five singles that worked well, and Six Red got down there three, four singles that worked well. And she's on the same similar type run. Just because you ain't heard Glorilla drop a single in a little minute does not mean that she's oh, overtaking the way, bro. And then, be real, then, Marla, be, like, real. Red, be real. Be real. We real. ain't never said that this was Glorilla's world. We never said that. It's it's just, we said that about Sexy Red, though. Because she got the niggas on board. Glorilla didn't have the niggas on board. All right, then. So how are they really on the same level? I'm gonna say. <laughs> Come I'm on, we fought it or not? We fought it or not? I ain't gonna say the same. same no, time. no, I just had to pull up Glorilla's project, little mixtape. Yeah. Tomorrow too. Come on, bro. It was hot. That's hot. Everyone, hot. people knew it. F and F, and F went, went went viral, bro. F yeah, went. that was huge. Was that was right, but look. Look, Glorilla had her time to like shine a little good little run in the pocket. A little glitter. Goofy. And then <laughs> Stop. Stop. And then now we got Sexy Red who really been blowing up some of these songs off her project. Also, she dropped a bigger project than Glow. I mean, does Glorilla not make ratchet music? Yes, but not yeah. like Sexy Red though. Exactly. It's Sexy Red ratchet. is different. It's Sexy different, Red is level, Sexy Red is chlamydia and STDs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she making fun though. This is different. She's making fun though. She making fun and get dirty, bro. Like, but it's bro, a different know. dirt, bro. Like it's it's dirty. Glorilla is she kind of you know she kind of filthy, but Sexy Red is dirty. <laughs> She's dirty, bro. That's good. Like, you know hey, 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 pussy hey. pink, my booty hole brown. Oh, Come on. Come it's on. A, it, it's a, no way. It's the, she, no. she got catchy things to say. When, when she says shit, it's just not <laughs> to say it. Like, come on, man. She can't out rap her. But do like, I think I'm, she replaced I'm, Glorilla? I feel like, I think I feel like so. Glorilla can out rap Six Red oh. in a heartbeat. Look, like, as you know, there's a rap civil war out here. The female yeah. rap war. Yeah. If everyone is choosing their side. Are you on Cardi's side or Nikki? Hit it. <laughs> Straight down the middle. Keep it 100. Glorilla out here on Cardi's side. Sexy Red on Nikki. We got to have Hey, a, look, man. I'm on Nikki. If that's the odds, bro, I'm on Nikki's side. Bro. <laughs> I, I, I got to go on Nikki. That's the odds. Come on, man. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, they got separate songs. We got Cardi, uh, Cardi and Glow got Tomorrow too. Sexy Red got Nikki on uh what is it called? Um is it, oh yeah, F and F. No, 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 not not F and F. Uh oh, what's my booty hole brown? Whatever the fucking song. Yeah, whatever is. that song called. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it is, she got Nikki on it. Bro. They they dog, they gotta assemble their Avengers, bro. That's all you can do. I don't know, man. The streets ain't fucking with Glorilla like that no more. They're Glorilla. not hitting. No, they're not. But Glow need to drop a project. She dropped nothing. Like a hard ass song. She did. She just came out with a single. They're not fucking with it. Yeah, that single is kind of um, buttons. I ain't even going to Yeah, they're not fucking with her right now, Marlon. They're yeah. not fucking with her. Yeah. Like Cha Cha Slide type shit. Oh, and we can't yeah. talk about no colorism because she lighter than her. They, they, they're they about the same. Almost the same. I'm not going to hold you. It's just when you talk oh. about this whole ratchet shit. It's a different level with sexy. They red, said man. there's a different, different level. Levels of it's a different and level. let's not forget, different level. we got Suki out here who has yeah. tagged up with sexy red. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> facts. Batman and Robin is no escaping this, bro. They have yeah. reached another level in the ratchetness. Glow. Now, if we were in Glow Realist PR team, yeah, what are we doing? Because we got to have a real conversation with her because she's not buzzing. Yeah, anymore. I have a hard. What are we bro, telling her? Bro. You gotta drop a you gotta drop a tape. You gotta drop a tape and you gotta drop it. Cause the thing is, Glow Sexy Red is now big enough that she's going on tour. Yeah. Glow really ain't got no tour Facts. for real. Facts. She opening. Sexy got her own tour. Damn. 
it's a different vibe right now. Like, even if the venues, like she, the tour, or the Hood's Hottest Princess tour or whatever, it may be smaller venues. Don't get me mm-hmm. wrong. It ain't start your State Farm Arena. Mm-hmm. But yeah, bro. she's out there, though. You know what I mean? Gotta like, she humble. still has a body of work that allows for her to go out there and go perform. Yeah. And people don't come, and these girls don't go out and go see her. I think friend of mine, I, I'm gone. I think the shit is hitting the fan with her because people realizing that she's not really like that. She's not Ooh, really. Glow? Yeah, Glow really is not really like that. And she is young. Sexy Red has that age over her. So we kind of believe Sexy Red mm-hmm. a little bit more when she's talking about these things. She's over there, you know, sleeping with a nigga with dreads and all that shit. She got a song about dreadheads now. You know what I'm saying? Shake them dreads, oh, boy. Yeah. Shake them dreads. I know oh, you're really? So it's like, oh, with Glorilla, she doesn't have an anthem right now. Honestly, if I was in her PR team, I would tell her to switch it up. Don't even talk about that ratchet shit no more. Because I think mm-hmm. she's actually a good rapper. She could spit about other things. It's time to switch it up, man. You can't keep talking about that shit no more. Damn. Sorry, it, it ain't. It ain't your time no more. It ain't your time no more. I don't think the thing is. I don't think that Glow is going to completely fall off right away. Mm-hmm. I have hope that like she's gonna drop something bigger and then we don't really keep it going mm-hmm. just for like a little bit longer. She's not only not gonna hit Sexy Red says because now Sexy Red really Sexy Red has surpassed. I'm not gonna fight it. Sexy Red is hit another level right now. This is sexy why you heard me. You know, and we got used to Glorilla's deep voice. We've gotten used to that. We're not yeah. really on that no more. Um, do y'all think I mean, she has Maybe another... she needs to get on some more features. Keep think she got another ratchet more. anthem in her, Glorilla? Yeah. Y'all think she got one Probably, more? Yeah. yeah. I don't think so, y'all. Yeah, make it work, bro. I don't think she so. Because think, think, she think about touch. think about her feature on uh, Don Tolliver Project. Yeah. That was, was a good cool. feature. That was cool. Yeah. She she can get into a pocket. She can mm-hmm. get into something. And I'm like, I need you to tap into that on uh, at least a t- 12-track project. But check this out, though, Ra. Mm-hmm. We guys, and we fuck yep. with it. But do the hoes fuck with it? That is true. I don't think so. The hoes is fucking with Sexy Red, man. They like that dirty shit, man. Okay. They yeah, like that, that shit. Glorilla got a chance to fix it, bro. Ah. Oh man, I bet she need to start getting on that conscious rap, bro. No, oh, no, 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 no. I think so, bro. I that's think that's what she need to do, that. bro. Oh, why, 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 she, she can sound like Big Crit on on the track. Hey, yo. <laughs> I think it's a Big Crit. I'm dead. I haven't heard that, that name in a long time. Crit, <laughs> Crystal. All right, y'all. Let's move on, man. So we got Bobby Alta. Um, she's still yeah. getting interviews. She just got an interview with Offset. Um, why is she still relevant, man? What do y'all Appeared think? Appeared in that? the strip club with Suki. Yeah. How? Yeah. How did she get there? How yeah. did she come there? What do I don't about? understand how we keep continuing to allow her into spaces. Now it's at the point where black people are just bullying Bobby and, and it's hilarious. Yeah. Putting Bobby in the most uncomfortable situations and just seeing how she reacts. Like, did you see the thing? They were like, Bobby Lilith, she's going to call the police on everybody in the strip club. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're like, oh, man, do you have the clip of the offset stuff? In a minute, she's going to be charging $25 million a, a interview. Tell her. Yeah, I will be. Tell her. Tell them. You got to shake my hand. Oh. You need a little bit of seasoning. You ain't got no seasoning, man. You like a plain piece of chicken just on the thing. You pull it off, and then you serve the dish. You need some motherfucking seasoning, man. Damn, I'm trying to get you to play. You lost in the sauce. You ain't shaking my hand. We finna get you to, to $25 million. You know what I'm saying? Just a little sprinkle Have a great day off that. Just a little seasoning. All right. You can, you can leave now. This is my hotel. I pay for this motherfucker. You can leave now. See how that worked? Mm-hmm. But I don't even want you to leave because I'm not rude like that. I fuck with you. All right, Listen, thank you. I can't I can't tell. She is the greatest interviewer in 2023. She's the wave. Come fuck with my partner them. With their what? Partner them. Can you repeat that? Partner them. Partner in them. Partner. My partner. You understand that handshake, don't you? That's... Professional one. 
Thank you. And you got some bony ass hands. If you punch somebody, listen. If you punch somebody, go like this real quick to the camera. Show them the knuckles. I bet you got a mean right jab. I'm talking about a mean one. Show them. It's a good thing. Like, don't play with you. Like, don't play with sis. Don't play with my sis. Like, she's knocking shit out. That's a good reputation, man. Don't play with sis, man. She cool and shit, but she'll knock your ass out. It's sis. Tell us sis. Bro, these Bobby videos are hilarious, bro. Like, I don't like that shit, though. You don't like it? Mm Mm-mm. What do you mean? I don't like the fact that she's still getting coverage. I don't like the fact that she's still on our feed. I don't like that shit, man. Mm. She's an industry plant. She is. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's throw this shit away, bro. Time is up. Why are we still talking about this shit? And it always happens to us. It's always us. She don't even fuck with us like that. We sitting up here soaking this shit up. Like, come on, man. This shit is corny to me. She don't like Mm. us. Y'all remember what she said about uh, Lil Yachty? Yeah. She did not have no respect. I thought we were canceling her after that, but then people were too. Yeah, and I was like, "Damn, I guess we got more interviews." And then, yeah, the comments were saying they never do this for black people. They don't. Why is Mm -hmm. Sufiana got her in a damn strip club? Like, yeah, it's funny, but come on, man. Look, let's be real. Sometimes it is real, and yeah, we should be protecting more of our media and our spaces from people like Bobby. Yeah. On another note, I am definitely just soaking it up with the laughter and the content. Um, like it sounds like the cocoon chip in me who's just enjoying (laughs) what it is. No facts, because it's just hilarious, bro. Because she brings something out of people that just be like, "Bro, why am I talking to you?" Like that. Mm. uh, The way Offset was looking at her was just like, "We're trying to help you." You lost the boss. That shit had me weak. But at what cost, though, Ra? Mm-hmm. Do we need her to be a millionaire for this shit? No. We can't get that money to black people. We got to give it to a white woman that don't give a fuck about us. We got to do that for them. Really? Because I know some black people that's 10 times funnier than her. But because of the color of her skin, that's why we rock with it. That's corny she to me, man. The white girl. They like the bully. That shit's corny to me, bro. Yeah. Shit corny to me, bro. It's corny, but no, I, don't know. I enjoy the content. <laughs> <laughs> Coon chip. Coon chip fully activated, bro. <laughs> so Hell no. Nah. Hey, did y'all hear about Jack Harlow? What about Jack? Yeah, oh, some no. unreleased bars, and we finna no. get into that. Yeah. No, we gonna do Jack like do yeah, we're going to do it like that. The world's ghost rider, they don't want me getting credit. Don't let y'all girls meet me because they want me if I met them. I bet Lil Nas X will fuck me if I let them. Hear me and hear me good, nigga. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two pack of ass. <laughs> Rob face. <laughs> Rob face is crazy, bro. Yeah. Hey, man, what the fuck? I was looking for an N word line, but then I got a gay <laughs> You got some gay bars instead. What made you go with that verse? I was like, oh, he gonna say, like, little Nas, Nick. I was like, oh, wait, no, that's not what came out. Now, am I surprised by these lines? Not at all. If you've seen the Industry Baby music video. Hmm, true. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Little Nas X. Is probably at home laughing at this and it's like, <laughs> I'm still getting it. Like, oh. also, Jack Harlow was also a troll. So, yeah. that's, that's kind of the reason why I don't like Jack a troll, Lil Nas X a troll, Drewski's mm-hmm. a troll. All of them, they be all in the same circle of BS. So, yeah, that is a pretty sus ass bar, my boy. Think about that. I need you to think before you say that. But, yeah, that little, yeah. Jack, I think Jack kind of just, oh. it really shows how much he's falling off, honestly. That's, That's what bar, that means. Bro. Bro, is he, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Nobody check up for Jack Harlow, bro. You know why he was Y'all set up, right? You know why he was planted. He Y'all was love planted. Uh, what's popping, that. Exactly. Not anymore. Who playing exactly. that shit? I ain't, I ain't like that song. 
I ain't playing that shit. I the only song the the biggest song from Jack Harlow that I like was Tyler Hero. That's crazy. Okay. That was my favorite song from Jack. And you know, we, it's funny that we don't even mention this, but <laughs> I can't white. say his last project. I was fucking with his last project a lot, baby. You've been bumping it, bro. You he, told me the other day. Mm. Bars, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm releasing. I'm releasing our phone call. Mm. This man, mm. I'd be bumping that Jack Harlow. Wow. Oh, yeah, like bro. really been out that here guy, in the gym bumping. Wow. That last project, he he made You're a, a fan. He, I'm a I'm a fan of that project. I'm not a fan of him like that. Oh, right. <laughs> damn, bro, nigga, this is so like shady. I just shady, bro. Why are you not a fan of him, bro? It's okay to be yeah. a fan of him because he that's the Drake. most current him. You're a fan, yeah, it's... bro. It's okay, bro. He, he he white Drake, bro. I ain't got time for that. He's white, white Drake, Drake? huh? Now, now, now he's trying to be. I guess, but oh, you know yeah. why he was planted though. Oh, because Matt died. That's it. That's it. Really? I mean, he's ran his course. <laughs> he has ran his course. Mad. It's time for them to bring out a new white boy. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to say. That's why I stand there. Yeah. yeah. After Gay jokes, died. I mean, we already knew. That's how he likes to play. He likes to play yeah. around like that. So I don't really have yeah. too much to say about that. I just think that it's kind of corny and sad where you have to play as gay just for some ratings and for people to talk about your music, you gotta. Interesting, bro. It's yeah. trash. <laughs> it is. I did really want to ask y'all this because I saw this video a while back, and I was like, I gotta ask y'all. So I'm gonna just play the video, and then we'll talk about it. You bust your teeth before breakfast or after breakfast? After breakfast. Thank you. You do that shit before. Your food get to tasting like mint and shit. Thank you. Your food be nasty. Orange juice be you got orange juice. Ooh, orange juice with a toupee. Ooh. <laughs> Hell no. Eggs with the toupee. Motherfucker. Ooh. 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 Ooh
Yep. You heard what they said about the Waffle House workers, man. I know you what? know about that. What about? Get to this video, man. Demand 24 hour security. That's it. And workers the right to decide safety regulations at their own workplace. Say that. Yeah. Say that. Next, we demand $25 an hour. That's it. For all workers. For all workers, all cooks, and all servers. That's it. And we demand an end to paycheck deductions for meals that employees may not even eat. As a former Waffle House worker, um, it's about goddamn time mm. they start speaking up for themselves. Mm. Not, not a lot. Waffle House is too big of a company not to pay people more. Um, twenty five dollars an hour is kind of a push, but like mm. fifteen, twenty, twenty maybe. I wouldn't be mad at it. Twenty. Uh, yeah, no, they shouldn't. They take the employee meal out of your check, even if you eat it or not, and you shouldn't have to be charged that. That is facts. Oh, that is crazy. Yeah, even if you eat it or you don't eat it, you that definitely comes out of your check. Damn, um, they should I'm always thinking. have 24-hour security because it gets crazy out there, man. It just gets crazy out there. After COVID or, like, during COVID, uh, they changed their like way of doing things where like at night after a certain hour you can't come into the Waffle House so now it's a walk up window type shit mm -hmm. right yeah not every place has that but for the most part like especially like in Atlanta and like certain other states I've been to they have it that way too oh that's the reason why yeah it was for COVID security purposes yeah oh, security and then during COVID okay okay it was a mixed bag of both oh. so that's what we pretty much figured. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, like that was a big thing. Y'all night shift makes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. -wise. You stop people from coming in now because of safety and COVID. All right. Nobody tipping on no goddamn to go order, bro, at a waffle house. Yeah. You ain't making no bread, y'all. Yo, you gotta meet and compensate for people. The waffle house feeds on the fact that a lot of their workers are struggling, be struggling. Mm. going through life shit and they just be like they need a job we'll just give anybody a job which is a thing so you know I'm off my soapbox of my Waffle House adventures but I hope they get some of those things that they're demanding hmm. now, I, I don't want none of the no employee should be deciding the safety regulations I, I'm sorry I don't care about that y'all don't deserve to decide that sorry hmm. but security 24 that's fine. Y'all pay them out the register. That's what they used to do for private security. Mm. And out of like the the drop or whatever, I think that's what it was, or however they did it. I can't remember. But mm. yeah, bro, nah. Marla, how you feel about that, man? They want twenty five dollars an hour to work at pay, pay people what they work. I feel like service industry, um, restaurant industry deserve to get paid more. Pay people what they work. You think it's twenty five dollars an hour? Yeah. Waffles, look, Waffles don't even like promote themselves. Do you understand that? They don't. They don't. There's no Waffles commercials. There's barely any actual promo. Y'all got the bread. Y'all got the bread. Stop playing with these people, bro. And that's too much. That's what yeah. I said. Twenty five is a lot, but yeah, maybe fifteen. Cause base pay, on top mm -hmm. of the tips and stuff. Yeah. Twenty five just to work at Waffle House. Nah, cooks make cooks making twenty five now. Yeah, if you're like a rock star what restaurant, cook. yeah, what restaurant are you talking? A waffle house. A waffle house. Hey, They'd be making twenty five. If you're a rock star cook, what does that mean? That means that you went and got uh like certification to uh like you know like food safe. I don't know if you anybody knows what that is. Marlon, Marlon, yeah, like you take that extra class and stuff, you can be making like twenty twenty five dollars. Why don't People do it then. Why don't more people do it? Because it's a <laughs> waffles will pay for you to do it to do the like um the class. You gotta study for it. People don't pass. They they they'll they'll do a lot of different things. They'll be like, oh, we don't need that many rock stars at this store. I mean, so, we can't I mean technically, pay. could everybody be a rock star if they wanted to? Technically, yeah, if you put your mind to it and like actually grind it for it. Like I know a guy who worked for waffle who's been working for waffle house for. 20 years plus but he's a really really bad test taker so he just never has progressed past uh a master cook what kind of questions they be asking bro 
like it's like temperatures and like knowing what temperature certain foods can be stored at and stuff like that that was it see that's the thing man that that's fucking up my whole argument so i was about to be down for this shit but now it's like if they have that option yeah and that's on them at that point yeah no it's that's what i said waffle house i feel like yeah like you feel like there's opportunities to make more money um not on the waiter side as much unless like i think they have like new rankings and stuff I'm, i'm out of it now but like you know what i mean your you, your pay your amount that you're getting paid was always trash. Like, bro, my one of my first few Waffle House checks as a waiter, I got paid eight dollars. Like, oh, that was a mix of taxes and uh, if food that took that it out. Check? That was my check. My check was eight dollars. Damn. Mm-hmm. What and the they fuck? Were like, and they were like, oh well, yeah, you got tips this week and like stuff like that. That's what's supposed to make up your check. Hmm. I almost quit that day. I ain't even gonna hold you. Yeah, I feel that. Cause what the fuck is eight dollars? Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah, like, where's the twenty five dollars an hour just to work at Waffle House? That's not it because then that's gonna affect the other jobs, and then that's gonna affect the skill level. So then you're gonna have to be required to have higher skills for higher pay. It ain't. That's not gonna work for everybody. It's just not. Waffle House is hibachi on a budget, my boy. Did. That's. What it is. I don't think they're getting that kind of bread, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. What you mean? To pay oh, out their work at $25 an hour. I don't think they definitely are. Oh, they definitely are. To make are. profit like that? Bro. That's a lot of money, bro. When okay. you're going from, how much they get? $3 an hour? So mm-hmm. much. What, uh, what, waiters? Yeah. $3, yeah. right? Yeah. Three. How you go from $3 to $25? Like that. That's a lot of money, bro. It's not a lot. Tell you, bro. Pretty- we looked at the shit. If we looked at the balance sheet, bro. That's a lot of money that you've given out. But, but think about how much Waffle House bring in every damn year by itself. So what though, bro? Can, I'm just saying, man. I'm, I'm working one shift. My morning shift. We used to crank out damn near four thousand dollars in seven hours. Okay, how many workers? Just ballpark. On a how morning many workers? shift. On a no, morning. How many workers in uh, Waffle House do they have? The whole company, or like yeah, just the whole company? Stuff. The whole company, just give or take. Say fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. 15 maybe 25 okay so let's say let's just say it's twenty thousand, right mm-hmm. let's say they're getting twenty thousand dollars everybody's getting twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars um that's about what is that uh, 40 four hundred thousand it's about four hundred thousand bucks something like that that you're having to pay everybody then you times that by 25 bro that's damn near tens of millions of dollars that you're giving out now Think about how many Waffle Houses there are, bro. And then think about how many years they were already paying them, bro. Think about the Waffle No, bro. Like, that would be the thing. Like, we got to understand. We be trying to give big-ass companies a pass. Fuck all that. Pay them folks. You pay for a reason. Yeah, it's they not them, like ass in there. They but them, you got to look at it from the macro perspective. Like, bro, it's, the macro is changing. You can't fuck money, the bro. macro. You can't. Because it's going to affect other jobs. They've been doing it since it exists. It's not paying niggas that are worth. Yeah, but so it's not paying niggas that are worth. They're going to struggle, bro. Too much to work at Waffle House, oh, y'all. Let's raise, stop the cap, man. They gonna raise food prices, bro. They, they ain't, gonna, ain't gonna hurt them that much, right? Don't take no skill to work at Waffle House, bro. Let's Long be for now. real. Hold on now. What Long skill now. does it take to work at Waffle House? You gotta have the mind. Oh, you gotta have that mindset. <laughs> the mindset. You gotta lock in. And you gotta lock in, bro. You gotta lock That's, in. Those bro. are not skills, y'all. Locking in is not a skill. <laughs> it's not a skill, bro. A locking in is not a skill. Bro. That's a bro, I'm skill. trying to tell you, locking in is a straight skill, bro. Come on, let's be for real, man. Them niggas ain't got no skills like that. I'm sorry, bro. Bro, I got the burns to prove the levels of skill I had to go through, bro. I was fighting for my life in that. Don't bitch. get me wrong. I, there's a difference between work ethic and skill. Yeah. I'm talking about skill. I'm talking about something that has to be developed. And then, can you, you flip to... an can you flip an egg without a spatula, bro? If you show me to, yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you show me, I'll do that shit. But it's the only way, bro. You got to be skilled with it, bro. Hey, that's a skill. That's not a skill, man. Bro, I be out flipping here flipping eggs. eggs, bro. I can flip eggs, bro. You can't put that on your resume, bro. I I will. <laughs> So uh, what skills do you have? I know how to play eggs. <laughs> the fuck? 
Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, come on, bro. You're bro. Like, stupid, huh? Bro, bro, I mean, man. Hey, man. I hear y'all, but nah, that's too much. I want to look, bro. Fight for what y'all believe in, man. I hope they get something out of this because yeah, them, them workers be going through it, bro. Yeah, I agree with that. They do be people going like Ben don't know how to act inside a waffle out. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Be fucking up my bacon, man. <laughs> but speaking of food, yeah. have y'all heard about feederism? Feederism? Oh. Yeah, yeah. They got a new kink. Hi, my name is Rosie and I was groomed into feederism. Feederism is a kink, like a sexual kink regarding feeding someone generally for the purpose of them be- being fat or getting fat or gaining weight. There's a big umbrella when it comes to feederism. And the thing about this guy is I think he was into what's called death feederism and death feederism is what it sounds like. It's feeding someone to the point of getting so fat and so big that, that they die. The I thought you were saying feet. Terrorism, oh. like only <laughs> dealing with feet. Then yeah. you said feed, and I was like, I've heard of this. I'm thinking mm. like a feeding tube type thing. I'm like, oh. mm. no, 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 I've heard of this before. Okay, it is, it is a thing. Um, there, there's a, uh, I don't remember where it, it's a show that talked about this before, where like girls used to like want to get bigger, to provide for their partner who really just like them big they will just continue to do it it's a thing i don't i don't know what the real sexual capabilities of it are it's pretty weird to me you know, you know but play you, with the roles you know, maybe stop that shit stop that nasty to get shit. Groomed, to get groomed into it is like damn stop yeah she said he was he good all the time like yeah no nah, that's pretty crazy bro stop that weird shit hey if you like it i love it I don't. You know? I, I don't. Think, um, I don't. I think, you know, stop that weird shit. kinks deserve their place. No. Stop, make, stop making big backs. Stop. <laughs> we need to stay away from these <laughs> niggas. <laughs> do that. Wow. That's what you Don't do that. <laughs> stop making big backs. Lord That's God. Crazy stop stop, feeder, stop feederism big backs. <laughs> Oh, man, is pretty crazy though. I would not. It say is it. crazy, but I mean, if that's what they're into, hey, that's what they're into. Who am I to say that they yeah. shouldn't be into that though? Feeding it's somebody. Not healthy. It's a lot of it's things not. we do that's not healthy. It's true, sure, but that's like the number one thing that we shouldn't be doing. Nah, if that's what they like, bro. Who are we? I. I'm out. Who are we? I'm out. I'm out. He said, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out the car. I the car, I'm out the car. <laughs> Who are we, though? For real. That's what they like. But stop saying out the window, bro. I don't walk off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not looking back. I, I, I hear what you saying. Up. I'm just saying, like, you know, that's what they into, man. Okay, that don't mean it's right. It's a lot of things that we do that's not right. That's not right. Why are so, you defending it? Who are you? Why are you defending the big bags? Why are, are you defending you? Big, Why are you defending it? Who are you though? The fat police? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? You can't, niggas can't get fat around you? The fuck? No, bro. Like I want okay. everybody. To, I want everybody to live a healthy life, bro. He said those aren't the gains I was talking about. Stop no, it. No, so you want women to be skinny? No. Why not? Because it's it's not about that. What is it about then? It's about stop force feeding yourself to be fucking 600 pounds and thinking that's okay. Well, you're assuming that they're going to be 600 pounds. We don't know that. Oh my God, stop. Maybe 300 could be the pound weight. Unhealthy eating habits. Let's try to do these things the correct and healthier way and stop letting people enable us to be unhealthy knowing the fact that our lives are short and you can die. Mm. I don't like it, bro. Like it. It's some cab in there. I don't like it, bro. He don't like that. He don't like that. He don't like that. Cause you acting like you acting like you so huh? righteous, nigga. Nigga acting like he's so righteous. Like you ain't got no kinks that you like, nigga. Oh, not not feeding. That's not the rabbit hole I'm trying to go down. Today. Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. Come on, let them have their thing, bro. Let them have that, bro. You a weird nigga. That's not okay. Let them have that, bro. Let you them cook. Weird. That's not okay. <laughs> let, them, let, them, let them cook for real. 
<laughs> he said, let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I don't jump in that. Hey there. Jump in Speaking that. of weird kinks. Yeah. We got Brittany Renner. Yeah. I know y'all heard about her. Let's just watch the video, man. Brit, Brit. I've had sex with 35 guys. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 35. That's her body count. That's what she says. What do y'all think about that, man? That number two specific. Mm. That was very, like, today, did you count that and say, like, how do you do 35 off rent? Wow. Congrats. I mean, look, like, I'm not going to be mad at her. Like, we know who she is. Like, it's, you know what I mean? I not thinking that way, but it was just like 35. Oh, okay. That's just the number that just came out. Like, damn. Go crazy. But you, it's her business, though. I mean, because I feel like if it was a guy say he saw the 35 women, y'all be looking at him like that guy. This is but true. Like the fact that she threw a slap at 35 men, why does it matter, bro? So are we saying that's a lot? Is that what we're saying? 35 is a lot? No. That's mm. uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna call you well traveled type shit, but I'm not gonna say like you well like, traveled. Yeah, you you are you, you, a seasoned veteran in this game. <laughs> you know what? Like honestly, they, but, hey, I, I feel like and this is me. The more bodies you got, depending on who you are as a person, depending on how many bodies you got, it just mm. one thing that tells me is it just tells me you just experienced and tell me that you should know what you're doing. A lot of people don't know what they're doing. So, I mean, I really, get, I really get somebody who know what they're doing. So, quantity um, translates to experience. That's what you're saying? I, don't, I mean, you don't, you don't quite that? No. Mm, interesting. Because I feel yeah, like. Because you, you can have like 50 bodies, and I don't mean you know how to fuck for real just because you got 50 but, bodies. Hey. It's a mixed bag. It's, it's, a, it's a balance in there. It's like maybe you do, maybe you don't. Yeah, you never know. You just don't know how to have a good relationship. And then maybe it's like, yeah, maybe. You don't. <laughs> but, I mean, after, after, after 35, like, you know some. Mm. You know some. Mm. I mean, is 35 a lot? Not really. Not really. Not yeah. really. For somebody her age. Now, if we talking about girls our age, of course, yeah, thirty five. What the fuck is it? Yeah, bro, thirty five. Can you yeah. fit thirty five niggas in one room? Hell no. Oh, I don't even want to do no. Re- I don't even want to do no research on that shit. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. Like one room. Yeah, like nah, that's a lot. You know what yeah. I mean? She's not even twenty five yet. She got thirty five bodies. Yeah, that's fucking. Bro. That's more than a body every year. That's over two bodies per year. That's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Fucking, yeah, she's so fucking, fucking fucking. She's fucking fucking. And she, I and, and it depends on who she is and what she look like. I'm still I might look at her like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey there, Rob, what you think, bro? If she got 35 bodies, what you doing? You still gonna be 35 like, belly bodies at the age of what? 25. Wow. You're only 25. <laughs> yeah. When did you start having sex if you're only 25? Yeah. Wow. Hey, like, if you think about it like that. Exactly. When you think about it like that. You'd be like, damn, damn. I think Brittany might be 35, 36 maybe. So her having that 35, it's like, okay, maybe she had two one year, three one year, you know, one one year. Maybe four on a wild year, then another year. On a wild you know what I'm year. Saying? Some shit like that, you know? So it kind of adds up. What uh what what flip what Cardi say? I don't care if dead pussy got some miles, miles. <laughs> oh no, that's not going. No, no, I don't know. All right, I'm not thinking too deep. You don't think it's too deep? Experience. So if you knew a girl had 35 bodies, you'd be like, all right, it doesn't really matter to me. 36. You gonna cuff? No, 
Why? 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 CNN journalist, get out of here. What's wrong? What's wrong? Why wouldn't you cuff her? Get out of here. Hold on, bro. We just talked about why that's not too much. It's not nothing crazy, but you won't cuff the girl that got 35 bodies. Just stop my pig. Bro, I Why guess, not though, Rob? Because I'm not going out bad. But you're gonna be 36. <laughs> you're not going out bad. I am. You're not. You're gonna be 36. Nobody I'm knows. 36. Yeah, nobody knows. Yeah. I'm not coming to him number 40. Fuck it. What? <laughs> huh? What kind of math is that? He got. He got to be that good number. What kind of technology is that? You gotta be act equally divided. Like, I don't know, bro. I, 36? I guess, bro. You never know. I don't know. We don't, the world crazy, may never truly really So you just want to add to the number, but you don't want to cover it, though. You don't want to take that on, huh? Trying to incriminate me, bro. It's a cold world out here, man. I ain't trying to do ben, nothing. I'm just listening. No, nah, Ben, you got listening coming. to y'all. Ben, you got I'm coming. I'm not coming out. I did. That's what I'm talking about. Not coming out. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing with that. Yeah, <laughs> Thirty-five bodies at twenty-five. Come on, man. She ain't got no like discernment. She ain't got no like. She just easy. You easy as fuck, bro. I don't want nothing that's easy. I always heard if it's too easy, you probably shouldn't go easy? for it. That might be a hard thirty-five. I know y'all heard about that before, though. I have. Yeah, if something is too easy, you probably shouldn't go for it, bro. It's too good to be true. Shout out to that challenge out there. Yeah, man. But let's end it on this note. We got Tory Lanez, man. Tory Lanez, he released a, a recording from prison about some new music. Let's hear what he had to say. Yeah, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, yo, umbrellas, man. What's good? I'm talking to you live from prison right now, man. I'm, I'm just happy to get out that bullshit county jail. They was hating on a young fly nigga you heard. Having your 24-hour lockdown, half-size cell by myself, no windows, no mirrors. Nigga ain't even seen himself in a whole year, yo. But with all them disadvantages against me, my head has always been held high, man. And I want y'all to know I'm in great spirits. My drive and my ambition is growing stronger and stronger every day. And I'm so proud of how y'all been moving in my support, man. I know this feels like a scary time, but don't be afraid, man. This shit don't spark no fear in my heart at all. In fact, I'm more prepared than ever. The music, the videos, and all the projects you wanted, they all ready to drop. So let's just start with the one that we want most. The Alone Economy. What's up, Marlon? What's up, man? That's your guy, bro. He's trying to drop music. He's still holding on from behind the cell. A man said I ain't got no What's fear up, in my heart. You ain't got no choice. Honestly, hey, free the real. But you know, you did what you did, pimp. <laughs> free the real? <laughs> free the real, but you did what you did, pimp. You what? You You're not just gonna slip that in there, bro. If you ain't gonna do the time, help. free the real. It's crazy. Wow, bro, that's wild. Free the real, but you did what you did, uh, man. Yo, Tori, go sit down. He is sitting down. He's no bit at this point. He literally is sitting down. <laughs> like what? He was sitting down when he recorded that shit. Oh, my man said. I won't strike no fear in my heart. God damn it, Tori. You know Tory. you started crying after that shit hung up, boy. Stop the playing, bro. Stop. Oh, man. Bro. I'm not saying I don't want any Tory music. The Alone at Prom Deluxe might be cool, but also it's a little too late, bro. I'm not, you know what I mean? Give me a Pooh Shiesty album before I get some damn Tory lanes, bro. Mm. Mm. Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. I miss Pooh Shiesty. Mm. Like, come on. Oh, you miss him, huh? Bro. Yeah. <laughs> he loves him with Pooh too. I almost like, bro, I want some new Pooh bro. I don't care about no goddamn new Tory Lanez, bro. This is fresh out, bro. You just, you just really going through this. I'm sorry. I'm... Come on now. Come on, Mar. That's your guy, though, bro. Don't switch it. Right, right, look, Marlon's oh, very dude. hyped for this Alone at Prom Deluxe. Don't yeah, get me bro. He's like, he trying to cap like he bro, not, but he's not. Don't man, bro. Do the time if you ain't going to do the time. But you a fan though, ain't you ready for the I new know, music? But he in jail. Why what, what, what we do about that? But it's music though. It's new music. Okay. It's timeless. Why are you not a, you're not excited for that? I mean, it's, it's not the project I was excited for. What project are you excited for? You know the project that he's talking about? Uh, if you got like Playboy 2, I'd be like, ooh. 
A lot of prom, a lot of prom is cool, but I, I wasn't so so killing about the eighties vibe. So wow, this whole he fan right Playboy, here. Let's say he drops Playboy too, right? Oh yeah, I'm hyped. Taking yeah. straight shots at Megan, I'm, airs it all out. I'm locked up. I don't give a fuck singing, no more. Singing it straight through. Hmm, that's how you I, moving, bro. Yeah, okay. Then in the let's say Tori drops the music video with the actual evidence of. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like whatever the real shots, like the real footage. Then we gonna be like, oh, he did. Free bet, bet, bet. Is that what the movement we trying to do? It don't change much because you're already in jail. So, but just do your time, and I'll see you later, bro. I'll see you when I have like a kid. Or two. Damn, he said I'll oh, see you later. So my, when I have my shorties, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I told the ladies out. They were like, yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, the real is out. The <laughs> real is out. Yes, I mean. Out. I'm trying to look at it from like a PR perspective. Ain't no PR perspective. I'm trying to hold on to his fans. You guys like you know the time he get out of jail. We'll be in our mid thirties. So what do you think you should do? Nothing, bro. Just just, just, just you gotta do something. You know what I mean? Do your time. Just fade away. Do your time. We'll see when you come back. Do it. I don't know. We don't care about it, bro. Bro, you don't care about it in jail, bro. Stop. We can. All right. You remember what happened to that dude, uh, Bobby Smurder? Jason. And you said he do he got out right? No, yeah, you know we don't give a fuck about him no more. Cause he, Same thing. Cause the cause the mission is complete. Bobby got out. That's all that mattered. Was like, Same, Same thing with Tori, so, bro. So, 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 nah, Tori, Tori, Tori's trying to start that type of movie. Different, bro. Mm. So, so we'll start that your time, and we'll come visit you when it's time to come visit you. Ain't nobody visiting that man, bro. Oh shit, gets to it. Hey, just grind it out, bro. I'm about to send a letter to Pooh Shiesty. Hey, bro, drop that real shit. <laughs> he would be yeah, for real. Send the letters to Pooh. Hey, yo, Pooh. He would, he would address some ass Pooh Shiesty. <laughs> yeah, it is. Nah, man, I don't fuck with Tory Lanez, man. All right. I don't man. fuck with him, bro. All right, count. He's a whack to me, bro. Free the real, but sit your ass now for 10 years. <laughs> 10 years is crazy, though. They got that much. That is crazy. Shut, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up the crib right now. Hey, it is what it is. But hey, that's another episode for y'all. Right. Episode 120 is in the books. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait to 500. We just need about what three more, y'all. So hit that button for us. Yes, sir. Man, yes, sir. What y'all got to say to the people, man? And like, comment, subscribe, bro. Stop playing. You see that number? I promise you, people be like unsubscribe, then be like, oh wait, I want to subscribe back on. Stop playing. Just go ahead, bless us with the five. And we'll keep giving y'all the content y'all want. Like, right. damn. Right. Uh, we he love that like, y'all, damn. <laughs> like, we love that y'all keep going back to the old videos, seeing uh, we got Reason, Baby Alien going crazy. We yeah. we see the numbers. We see what y'all doing. Yeah. Y'all like content? We gonna keep trying to give it to you. I mean, support us. Support us just as much as you support your favorite IG daddy or your favorite streamer. Mm. We, we, deserve, we deserve the same cloud as well. And it's Support free. Like this shit is free. free. We ain't even charged it yet. It's we, free. Bro, we're not even it's charging easy. y'all yet. This shit free. All you got to do is click a button. Yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. You're going to be on your phone anyhow. It's easy. Facts. Hit that shit. But yeah, man. Episode 120, y'all. Realmatic Podcast.